Hi everyone, good morning from Larch Hill Pass, Montana. I'm in the middle of the Bob Marshall Wilderness area in the middle of Montana's Rocky Mountains. This is Larch Hill behind me. It's not a terribly pretentious peak, which is I guess why it's called a hill. The pass is down below me here. The hill, by the way, has an elevation of just over 8,000 feet. The pass is a little lower than that. I'm on a little ridge just above the pass to show you the view and talk to you about a couple cool things in this location. And the first thing that's really cool about this location is this geographic feature behind me. This is called the Chinese Wall. The extent that you can see right here is a little over 10 miles long and it stretches on for miles in the distance beyond that. It's called the Chinese Wall obviously because it's a barrier that resembles the Great Wall of China and it's a scenic beauty in its own right, of course. This is a popular backpacking destination for people who have the time, but it's miles and miles into the wilderness, so you either need to be, have really strong legs or be willing to backpack for many days. Most backpacking trips that come in here are four or five days. The one I'm on is a six-day trip in particular. The other cool thing about being on Larch Hill Pass and this natural feature of the Chinese wall is also that it is a major drainage divide. In fact, it's the continental divide. The continental divide is the drainage divide that marks drainages from one side of the continent to the other. What that means is that all the snow that falls in winter or all the rain that falls in summer on this side of the divide will all run off into the Pacific while all of the precipitation that falls on this side of the divide ends up running down those drainages and ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. So it's a fun way to think about how our, our landscape is organized and also just really fascinating to be here and think about the directions that water will travel downhill and never, never go uphill. So if you follow the downhill every way on this side, you'd end up in the Pacific Ocean, and vice versa. On this side, if you kept going downhill and never went uphill, you'd end up in the Gulf of Mexico. That's a pretty cool thing to think about and, and just ponder for a minute.